Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today, finally, it's very overdue, with my 12 Empties of Christmas update. If you are new to my channel, hi, thank you for subscribing. I just did a thousand subscribers, so very excited. Got some really cool surprises coming for that soon. But um, I started this at the beginning of the year. I will link all of my previous updates down below. And let's get started with three empties that I now have. I have the Bath & Body Works Plum Cider Warmth Shower Gel empty. It was like here last time. I was done very quickly afterwards. I have the Rue Anti-Aging Hair Serum Leave-In Treatment empty. It was like right there last time. It is now empty. And I have, very sadly, this is been one of my favorite products of the year. Honestly, the YSL Touche Clot Blur Perfector. It is completely empty. My sister gave this to me last year and I have used it all up and I have asked for it for Christmas from my husband. I liked it that much, even though it is $55. But we are going to get it during the VIB sale coming up this weekend. I'm a VIB, not a VIB Rouge, so I couldn't get it this past weekend but we're gonna get it for 20% off and it's just gonna be a Christmas present. But we're gonna get it at 20% off, which takes some of the sting out of that purchase. So before I get into the rest of the products, I am making a replacement. I know that it's only like two months from the end, but I cannot stand this product anymore. I do not like it. It is the On Naturel Cosmetics Rose Gold Highlighter. It is a cream highlighter, but because of the shade, I've been using it as a cream blush. And by the way, it came with about this much product. Despite this giant packaging, this did not come with a ton of product in it. So I am no longer going to be using this. I'm going to declutter it from my collection because I do not like the color it is. I usually just cover it up with another blush. But quite frankly, I would rather declutter this and finish off something else rather than I knew I wasn't going to finish this by the end of the year anyway, and I was probably going to declutter it then anyway, so I just decided to declutter it now and be done with it and replace it with something I think I can finish by the end of the year. This is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Boho Chic, and I have a lot of pan on the sucker. I've already been using it for about a week or so because I've been planning to film this for like a week and just haven't really had the opportunity. Plus, if you guys saw some of my videos last week, I was in glasses. And I just got to the point where I didn't want to put on makeup with my glasses because I was having eye issues on top of it. I didn't really want to be poking at my eyes too much. They are now better. Thank you for your well wishes. I'm behind on comments as well. <laughs> so I need to catch up on a lot of things, but I'm going to pan this instead. And I do think that I can finish this by Christmas. So rest of the products. I still have my Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. It still exists. I hate it. Actually, I don't hate it. It's a fine hairspray. I'm just irritated at it because I can't seem to finish it. I don't use a lot of hairspray. When I wear my hair back in a ponytail, I try to remember to spray it then just so that I could use this because I have like seven mini hairsprays because boxes and subscription bags love to give hairsprays. And the sad part is I have given away so many mini hairsprays and I still have like seven. Like every Walmart box and Target beauty box and stuff like that that I bought for a while came with hairsprays. So they built up. Hopefully I can figure out some way to use that by the end of the year. So I really want it gone so I can work on the minis that I have. Anyways, next is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Basque. I have the Big Daddy. This is where I am at right now. It is all uneven. <laughs> I've just been kind of digging in it lately rather than trying to smooth off the top. Sorry, I heard my dog snort and I had to check on her. She just snorts a lot, so. But I don't think I can finish this by the end of the year. I've still got like a third of the product left, at least on one side. It's a little higher up on the other, but I think if I think I could flatten it out by the end of the year. So this is going to roll over into another project next year. But I will work on it while I can. I do really like this mask. I think it's great for my, you know, oily, kind of grumpy skin. Actually, my skin really isn't that bad, but it is really oily and can get 
clogged really quickly if I don't take care of it. This is just one of the parts of my regime to do that. Let's see, what do we have next? Ah, the Silk Elements Mega Silk Heat Protection Cream. Another thing that I don't think I'll finish by the end of the year simply because I do not do a ton of heat styling. This is air drying and kind of needs to be washed tomorrow. But I did blow dry my hair a couple of times last month. So last time I was here, now I'm down to here. And of course the bottle gets wider as we go down. So probably not gonna be making a ton more progress. I think I'll probably get down to about here by the end of the year, just due to, I probably blow dry my hair two to three times a month. Like there are just some days where I shower really late. I don't wanna go to bed with wet hair or a shower and I have to be somewhere that I shouldn't have a bunch of wet hair at. So, yeah. I really have no idea if this protects hair or not. I guess it does, just because I haven't wound up like fried hair after blow drying. And the last of my original 12 products, because as you guys, if you've been following me for a while know, in most projects, when I finish something, I tend to add more things, at least up until the end. It's like I'm not adding anything more for the three products I finished this month. The only thing I added was a replacement product that I think I could finish. This is the last original product. I don't think I'm going to finish this either, honestly. And I, I thought I could, but this is the Mariah Carey Luscious Pink Perfume. No matter how much I think I use more of it a month, I make the same amount of progress every time. Last month it was there, this month it is here, as you can see. I basically made the same amount of progress every month, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this was new when I started using it at the beginning of this year. Like, I think I literally got it last December. So, yeah. This used to be one of my favorite perfumes, but wearing it constantly for a year, it's not one of my favorites anymore. I still don't mind it. Maybe I'm just kind of sick of it right now, but it's fine. I'm gonna roll this over into a project next year too, just because at this point I do want this done. All right, so next I have the Intimate Tropical Mango Hibiscus Hydrating Body Mist. I strangely went through less of it this month and I don't know how, but last month I was here, this month I'm here. I do think that I can easily finish this by the end of the year. I use this as a room spray for the most part, although I have been known to just spray it on myself because it does smell really good. I got this from a Dollar Tree. And if I use it up by the end of the year, I'm gonna go see if they have more. Honestly, they may not just because of the time of the year versus the scent, that would make me kind of sad because I really like this. Let's see. Next is my Jordana Easy Liner in Sedona Red. I am wearing it under a couple of things right now. I might be able to finish this by the end of the year. Uh, okay, yeah, bring it a little closer, you can see where it ends. I do have markings on a paper that I will show you in just a second. All right. Let's see if I can show this without ripping my poor notebook in half. All right. Last month I was here, this month I am here. I did make a much more progress than I was making. So maybe I can finish it by the end of the year. I won't be mad if I don't. I That is my favorite red lip liner. And I think I'm smearing my lipstick as I talk. Speaking of red things that I wear, the next thing is this NYX Butter Gloss in Cherry Pie. Let's see. I only added this last month. Last month it was here. I think it is just like right under it. Because when I shined a light down in it, it didn't really look much lower. But I know I wear this every time I wear a red lip, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to let it settle overnight and see if I can get a better gauge of where it's at. All right. Next is my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer with Sunscreen. The sunscreen is expired. It expired in September, but this isn't breaking me out, so I'm still using it as a moisturizer. I'm just adding a sunscreen to my regime in the mornings. Last month I was here, now I'm down to here. I might be able to finish this by the end of the year. I'm not entirely sure. If I don't finish it, I'm gonna get really close. So I'd rather finish it though, because I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in the new year because it is, the sunscreen is expired. 
Next is this Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Cream. This is this is the last product actually because I already showed you the blush. So I didn't take a picture of this last month. But here is where I am. It looks kind of grody in there right now just because it's all messy. But I use this to shave my legs with because I find the scent a little intense and it lingers for a very long time. The thing is, I do like this scent. It's just, it clings for so long and it is so strong. I like it better in the body wash, honestly. I would buy the body wash again. I would not buy the body cream again. It is a really good body cream. And if you like the sweet lime fragrance, like if you really like it, this is really good. I don't like their original fragrance too much. I don't mind it in the hand cream, but that's about all I can use it in. And they just put a uh, Soap and Glory display in my wall local Walgreens and it has everything. So I might repurchase the body wash in the future. They do make really good products. Just, I'm not super keen into their scents. But that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.